Welcome to another installment of 5 Minute Tones. On today's video, I want to use my free blocks library to build a quick and dirty little preset on here. If you would like to get access to the blocks library, I've got a download link in the video description. Uh, if you really like what I'm doing here on the channel and you want to buy some of my music or sign up to my Patreon and get some exclusive content, that is linked there as well. But for now, once you get those blocks, expand them and then go up to the settings tab here, go to preferences, come down to workspace and under this library tab, you wanna point your computer to that folder that you've downloaded in there. When you've done that, you can right click on any part of the grid, go to library and refresh the library. Then if you go to basically any block and you go to the little library tab, there's gonna be a whole bunch of drop down options on here. So I don't know, I'm kind of feeling in a bit of a martial mood today. Let's go for this chunky JCM 800. I am going to pair it with one of my own IRs. I've actually just got all the settings baked into a single block here. This is my free LT TV Mix 7 cab IR. I do have some Dynacab blends in here that I have put together that you might want to try out as well. But you can see the preamp low and high cut is already dialed in uh, on this JCM 800. There's a little bit of a boost in there. I've played with the impedance curve, but the general idea is you click around a few times and then you've got a big chunky tone. <laughs> Now I could easily populate the other channels of the amp block with some of the other amps that I've got in the library here. For example, if I want my big chunky boogie mark four. <laughs> in there, there's crunchy stuff in there, there is a whole lot of fun to be had. Let's go back to that chunky 800 though. I'm just gonna add some extra blocks to this. Let's place a reverb at the end of the chain. Lots of different reverbs from kind of smaller reverb sizes designed to just enhance the overall experience of playing direct to some really crazy ambient ones. I should do an ambient preset build at some point, but I have kind of two main ones at the moment that I've been enjoying this everyday plate, which is the standard London plate reverb that I use all the time, or there is this PCM rich plate. I'll just turn the mix down on that one a little bit. Uh, this basically I tried to match to the Lexicon PCM 70 rich plate preset. <laughs> Let's add some grease to that. I wouldn't mind either a chorus or a bit of pitch detune or a delay or all of them. I could use the pitch block in here and bring up this H949 Rev 3 block. So I've got an old Eventide H3000. One of the first presets in there is called H949 Rev 3. I measured the delay time and the detune amount in there. I came up with this. It's basically a detuned voice on one side and a detuned delayed voice on the other. This is great as just a kind of one-stop shop to add some width and to have a lead delay. Let's check it out. <laughs> Another fun one, if you want to add some grease, is use a multi-tap delay and bring up the Leon's lead block in here. You might just want to bring the mix control up here. It's a little bit of chorus, it's a little bit of delay. It's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> It 
doesn't take many blocks to get a pretty crank and tone on the fractal, but using the blocks library makes it so much easier. For example, I can contrast that uh, JCM800 sound with the Mark IV lead block in here, which sounds pretty amazing. And even the crow outside that you can hear agrees. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for today. Go and grab the blocks, explore them. Just about every effect type has a bunch of different blocks in the library that you can play around with. I would love to hear what some of your favorite blocks are in there. And I will do more simple preset builds like this using the blocks library in there where, you know, it's a particular amp and cab setup, maybe a few things in the front, maybe a few things out the back for doing lead stuff. You know, I normally just want a whole bunch of distortion from the amp, some kind of widening effect and a bit of delay and a bit of reverb. Life doesn't have to be hard like that. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.